everybody. Sean Allen here, another day, another vlog. Guess what? See that sign right there? That's right. I am back at Los Angeles Valley College. No, not to take classes, but to kind of get like a little idea as to what's going on here at the college. As you all know, ever since really the whole world shut down, everything shut down, including college campuses, by the way. Sorry if it's super windy. It is really, really windy today, so it might affect the audio a little bit. But as far as I know, the college is not currently open for in-person classes, but a lot of their courses are online. I'm here just to kind of see how the college is doing. I wanted to check out their new media arts building that they have been working on. If you remember, like, I don't know, a while back on this channel, I did an update about Valley College and how they were in the process of constructing, like, the foundation. Well, a lot has happened since then. And I thought, you know what, I want to document that because ever since I was going to Valley, since 2008, they have been talking about it. So I'm really curious to see how well it looks up close and in person. From a distance, of course. <laughs> All right, without further ado, let's get this vlog started. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I'm also filming another video with this guy. If you've seen my video from the Disneyland video series, I am also working on a video, a sequel, I should say, for the RC race car that I brought here a number of years back and I raced it around the campus. It's probably not gonna be on campus as much this time around, but maybe a little bit, we'll see. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and check out the campus. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's not good. Whoops, <laughs> the batteries came out. <laughs> we had an accident, well, I'll repair it. Right now I'm in parking lot A. I remember walking down this walkway here many times to get onto campus. Yep, I think that's the engineering building right over there. The auditorium's over that way. And, uh, whoa, there he goes. There he goes. Yeah, this was a fun campus to come to when I was going to college. Here's the LABC Observatory right there. That's where I took Astronomy 101 with Professor Falk. It's got its own telescope right there. There's actually some changes over here, including a few new buildings, but man, I remember that one for sure. <laughs> So as you can see, this is one of their newer buildings right over here. I don't know if it's like a storage container or something, but this wasn't here when I was going to Valley. But yeah, that's that's new. Oh, and by the way, this right here, this is where all the bungalows used to be. Remember all of those old buildings that were here on the property? Gone. Right over there would have been the bungalow where I took English 48 for my first semester. Yeah, all the old bungalows, they are gone. And they were pretty run down too. Originally they were planning on recycling them. They had like these signs on them saying, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna recycle these and store them somewhere else, somewhere else in the valley. But by the time that came around, well, let's just say that they were already far gone. All these chairs and tables, there used to be a little concession stand directly behind those. Still have some of the old bricks over there. Supposedly there's gonna be a new building here, but as of right now, I'm pretty sure that's been put on hold, but it looks like they are planning something. Man, I will say the wind is not helping me whatsoever because it is really, really windy today. Oh my goodness, this place brings back memories. I took one lab course here during my days at Valley in 2008, Biology 3. Dr. Roy Withers. I can't remember which lab it was in because it, it moved all over the place. But I was one of the first students to walk through this building, which was pretty cool. Whew. I got the soda machines. I don't think anything's in the soda machines right now, but never got a chance to go up there on those levels. Oh, I miss this place. Oh, let's check out the, let's check out this stuff over here. This actually might be kind of a good place to get a couple of shots of the taxidermy stuff. Looks like a lot of the old stuff's still here, like all the skulls. There's a bear up there. Lots of skulls. Dissect a frog. Lots of skulls. It's a sea turtle. I remember the sea turtle. Pelicans, hawks, birds. Wow. Yeah, I remember these when 
I was coming here. <laughs> They're still here. Got some banners up here for the football team, softball team. They can literally hold like a small Olympics here. Community services building right there. Look at all the trophies in that window. Wow. Over here's the pool, the Olympic sized swimming pool. My dad and I used to come out here a lot of times on Saturdays and swim over here. And I took swimming lessons here. I was even in a swimming camp. That's the basketball court there, as well as the gym. That looks like somebody left their textbook out here. This is another gym. Health and fitness, I believe. And this is the parking structure right up here. So the parking structure is actually closed. But it's still accessible. The old library, the temporary library, used to be around here, actually. In fact, I'm, I think I'm actually standing where the old temporary library used to be because they were building the new library. Well, uh, back in the day it was new, but it's not so new now. But they had the construction of the, the new library going up when I was going to Valley. I think they finished right around the time when I left. But right about in this area here, that's where they had the old temporary library. This is where the current bookstore is right now. I believe it is closed. But this is where the bookstore is. Oh, well, looks like a little drink stand over here, like a little restaurant. That I know I didn't get to experience when I was here at Valley, but oh well. I mean, this is a pretty cool part of the campus now. Yeah, I remember when they were first building this. This was where the old cafeteria used to be. And the bookstore, the original bookstore, was over here on the left. Yeah, I remember this library. During my last year in 2013, I was editing videos in there for the educational series. And on occasion, the vlog series, but really. I edited some of my very first videos right in there. What's cool is that by the front of the campus here, they got these markers here. This one here says, in memory of Dr. Stuart Marsh, Dean of Instruction, 1950 to 1970. It's also the 50th anniversary commemorative marker, 1949 to 1989. And this, if I am not mistaken, is a time capsule. So they'll be opening this guy up in 2049. We need the 50th anniversary time capsule. It looks like there was also another section over here, like this other sign. Like, maybe this was an area where people could sit and all, but it looks like it got sort of blocked off. There's a marker here, there, and right there. The Media Arts Building is just off in that direction. So right there is Theater Arts. That's the theater. And over here is Media Arts Studios. In fact, that's a part of my associate's degree, Media Arts. It was Media Arts Directing. Graduated in... 2012. One of my courses was right over here. In fact, I was going to originally take two courses over here because there's a little like television studio right here and on the other side it's another studio. But I didn't take the television one because, well, let's just say that I just didn't feel super comfortable with how it was going to be taught. <laughs> so this is a sound stage. It's also part television studio. And this one this is where I took the cinematography course. I had one professor in particular that I took courses with right through that door, right there. Professor Rodriguez, 2000 and I'm gonna say 11, I think? Yeah, 2011 because my last course was directing, that was in 2012, and that was the year that I graduated. So yeah, 2011, fall 2011 is when I took cinematography right there. This was gonna be television but I dropped out like day one because I just didn't think that it was gonna be that great of a course. <laughs> it was more of an acting course to be honest with you. You guys are probably like, well, Sean, you've been doing a lot of acting for like YouTube and all. It's like, yeah, that's fine. But you know what? I'm gonna stick with media arts. <laughs> the stuff behind the camera, you know what I mean? So I took cinematography, directing, editing, and there was another course, Media Arts 101, which like basic, the basics of the entire production process of how you make a movie you know from pre-production actually first it's the idea then you gather all the resources pre-production then you go into production post-production distribution the whole nine yards in fact that was the one course where I got this one particular book 
It was called the Filmmaker's Handbook. And I'm thinking of getting an updated version, but the thing is like the Bible. It's like the Holy Bible of Media Arts. This one book. I gotta show it to you when I get home. So my very first course in this area of my expertise was originally, actually I should say this, it was bro Broadcasting 1. Broadcasting 001. And that was in one of the bungalows. Wasn't that one of the bungalows? No, it was inside the classrooms uh, in the main Monarch Hall. And the second course, when I officially decided to go for Media Arts Directing, that was Cinema 107. That was with Eric Swellstad, Professor Eric Swellstad, I should say, who I'm still friends with. And then I took two other courses, Cinema 105, which was the history of cinema. Cinema 107 was kind of like a basic introduction to the cinema and the industry. And uh, 105 was about the history of cinema with Professor DeCorso, Joe DeCorso. And Cinema 106 was the history of animation and special effects. Again, by Joe DeCorso. And then I took a whole slew of other courses, including Broadcasting 26, which was about television, and that was taught, no joke, by Tracy Savage. If that name rings a bell, well, when you get older, watch Friday the 13th Part 3, because she's in that movie, and unfortunately, spoiler, she gets killed by Jason. Yep. So, she taught that. Four courses I took with Professor Rodriguez. I already mentioned about those. Cinema 101. One oh, uh, let's see, um, I can't remember all of them, but there was the media arts course, there was editing with Final Cut, that's how I got introduced to uh, Final Cut Pro 7 in particular. Then I moved on to cinematography with an actual movie camera, and then the last course with her was directing, and that was back in the basement of Monarch Hall. Lots of memories in that building. If you haven't seen my previous vlogs right here at Valley, go and check those out, because that's when I went down to the basement to just think about the good times, you know, the memories, right? There it is, the Media Arts Center. We're actually about to head into, we'll actually head towards where they are building the new Media Arts Building, which they've been talking about for years, even before I got here, but really more specifically when I got to Valley. I gotta check this thing out for myself. We're about to see it in person right now. I can just see the front here. Oh, the building. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Look at the size of this thing. Holy moly. Wow. That is amazing. It took them many years to finally get this to become a reality. Look at this. This is the Media Arts Building, guys, that we've all been waiting for. <laughs> for those of us who are alumni, especially the Media Arts Department. What's interesting is that right in this spot here, there are a whole bunch of pine trees, kind of like the ones right over here. And I believe one of my shots was right here, if I remember correctly. But unfortunately, as you can probably guess, those pine trees are gone. Originally, when they tore down the, the old pine trees, they were going to recycle the wood and use it as part of the building. Now, I can't tell if that's part of the wood right there in the midsection, but one of the ideas was that they were going to take the wood from the pine trees and use it to help construct a part of the building. Now, I don't know if that's still the case, but that was years ago. The wood could have been, you know, damaged, wood rotted, or who knows? That wood could be gone for all I know and just decayed and turned into to mulch and soil. But it's looking amazing. Like, this thing is huge. This thing is really, really big. It's going to have its own, like, movie theater. It's going to have its own classrooms and laboratories. I'm pretty sure that you'll probably get to be able to do, like, virtual reality in here. But this is still pretty cool because Professor Swellstad, uh, Professor Watanabe, I think Joe DeCorso a couple of times, and maybe even Professor Rodriguez, a lot of the staff and faculty from the Media Arts Department have talked a long time about this building and to see it like this this is pretty cool I actually remember a couple of times when I was either in class with Professor Swellstead or uh, Professor Watanabe they had mentioned like oh we're gonna go to City Hall or somewhere and talk about this building and this happened on a numerous occasions but I, I don't remember exactly all that would happen apparently they were able to get it done and if I remember correctly, one of the propositions that we voted on that passed actually was able to grant money to the college to be able to do this. So, that was pretty cool. And it's definitely going to be a huge, huge like accomplishment and a very useful tool for students in the future. I'm really like looking forward to stepping f and foot into that place because, you know, being an alumni, of course, I can see this stuff. 
and I would love to be able to be here when it opens. So we'll see, but it's, it's, it's getting there. It's looking really, really cool. I am back home as you can see and I'm wearing my Grinch onesie. Why is that? Well, it's because that video was filmed about a week ago and it's still windy and really, really cold. So this is keeping me warm at home. And I'm recording this at like one o'clock in the morning. So it's kind of chilly. <laughs> All right, before I end this video, I want to show you guys the book that I mentioned in the video. This is it, The Filmmaker's Handbook, A Comprehensive Guide for the Digital Age. This is the third edition by Stephen Asher and Edward Pincus. Now, I say third edition because this is the 2007 edition, and I bought this in 2010. Yeah, it's already been about 11 years since I bought this for my 2010 class, in fall 2010 class for LAVC, for Media Arts 101. So it's a little bit outdated, but it's still a good read, I'd say. On the back it says, The Authoritative Guide to Funding, Preparing, Shooting, Lighting, Editing, Finishing, and Distributing Your Film or Video. Written by filmmakers for filmmakers, this book will give you the skills you need to take your dreams from script to screen. Now, if you guys are filmmakers like myself and want to get yourself a nice textbook, either for class or for personal use, I highly, highly, highly recommend this book because it is really cool. In fact, if I'm able to find an updated version of this on Amazon, which I might get, I'm going to post the link in the description box. That way you guys can get yourself a copy, not the old edition. Well, I'll find the old edition as well and maybe post a link for that. But if there's an updated version of this, I'll post that link in the description box so you can get yourself a copy. And that way you can have it on hand, whether you're in class or for home use. And this is Again, something I use nowadays at home just to refresh my memory of some stuff. And it's a good read. On that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. The book just fell on the floor. <laughs> Not good. Be sure to check out my other vlogs here on YouTube as well as my other channels, the educational series, the design video series, and the travel town series. You can find me on Instagram. The link is down below in the description of this video as well as my PO box address. By the way, if you want to know about my schooling years, be sure to check out the playlist link down below. I talk about my days in kindergarten first grade, second grade, a little bit into third grade, and then into homeschooling, high school, and then my college years at Los Angeles Valley College and CSUN. And in those videos, you'll even see my graduation videos from both Valley and from CSUN. All right. Thank you so much for watching. In the scene, as they say in Hollywood, still not in Hollywood. I'm at home. That, my friends, is a wrap. See you next time. Oh, and by the way, for those of you guys who don't believe that I graduated right there, that is it. That's my diploma right in there for Los Angeles Valley College. Media Arts Directing.